Alright, so the Civic needs a few things. I have a whole list in my bedroom, which I'll show you guys later on of what uh, the Civic all needs before I start driving it. Well, it's drivable right now, but a few concerns I got that I should fix. Uh, what we're going to do is sway bar end link. Hopefully that goes well. Hopefully we can get that done. And they, uh, I got a drain plug, a new one for the radiator because the one that came with it was leaking. So we'll put that in and uh, maybe a lower ball drain this week on this video. So there's a few things, but I'd like to update you guys on the Jeep too. I uh, ordered the lift. I actually went with the four and a half inch rough country lift, uh, the X series. So that will be here. Well, it's supposed to get delivered today, but we got a bunch of snow. And they said they couldn't get it in the driveway, which I don't know why, but uh, it'll be here this week and we'll start doing that here soon. So I want to start driving the Civic. So today this is what we're working on. This is what I was talking about, Sway Boy. This is the side of the drive. I got one on it. Uh, they're supposed to be right there. Oh, I'm going to have to look at the other side, compare it, and try to get it hooked up. This side has it. I only bought one side, but maybe in the future we'll replace that side. But here we go. Uh, one of my friends said you can get like beefy or ball joints or tie rods to one of these. After a turbo, I may look into doing that, so that'd be pretty cool. Uh, Alright guys, so I'm not going to lie to you. Look, use it to me trying to get it back together. <laughs> but we'll get it. It's really not that complicated, just like, I'm a little dumb sometimes. But over here, don't want to walk over with the camera. We got this. It's going to go to the bottom like here. From what I see. Like that. I think. Hold on. Let me stop filming and go make sure one more time. Round 900. So I think we got it this time. Uh, this goes like that. But before we do that, we got to put one of these. See there like that. I gotta put one of these things on it. Like there. Then this spacer. Oh, I dropped it. I'll grab it. Drop the spacer on like there. Okay. Then we need this to go. Second, we don't so we get together and then we show you guys. Oh, we're all good to go. Now I'm gonna go grab a ratchet wrench and a wrench and tighten these batch heads down. But uh should work out better than not having one. I drove it without it and it didn't really drive too bad. But yeah, let's tighten that down real fast. Alright guys, so uh yeah that's done. Uh me and Dylan have no idea if it's correct or not, but it's on there. We'll see. We'll see what happens. It's better than not having it on there. But I don't know if Dylan wants to say anything. This is his other truck that he has. There's that 88 that you've seen on my channel, and then... 2000 Silverado step side, uh, 4.3 liter V6. Yeah, let's talk him into putting an LS in it. I wish. I would if I could, but... We can. We can one day, just not today at this point, but check me out on the YouTube DLD Customs. Yeah, DLD check. underscore Customs. Check them out. We've got all kinds of truck videos, and sometimes my stuff may be on there. Who knows? But, a little bit of Jeep videos, a little bit on there, and I don't think I got anything on the suit yet. I've showed it before, but nothing really working on it. But give me a check out on the YouTube or the Instagram. Yeah, what's your Instagram? Uh, DLD Customs. Same thing. Yep, same thing. All right, so now we're going to get to... Uh, I got the, I put the new radiator in as you guys see previous videos and uh, the drain plug, it's a cheaper radiator, I'm not going to lie, but uh, <laughs> it's better than what I have had in it. So uh, I bought a new drain plug, I was hoping it wasn't going to be plastic, but guess what, it's plastic. So I'm hoping I can just throw this in there and make it stop leaking. It was only like four bucks. 
So yeah, let's get a drain pan under it and try to swap it out fast enough without losing much fluid, if there's any fluid left in it from it leaking. So I'll grab the drain, plug, drain pan real fast. Cheap, made cheaply. Right, guys so it got cold so i came in the house uh we're going back out here soon probably tomorrow or something this video is not over yet but i'll show you i got civic to do i write everything down so i don't forget stuff of going to work and stuff every day stuff's hard to remember of all the cars but bleed brakes fixed coolant leak which i didn't check that one off because i don't know if it's fixed yet we put uh sealant gasket sealer gasket seal around it and a copper washer and tighten the uh plug down hopefully that works so we gotta bleed that if that works. Rear bolts, driver side lower ball joint, which that's probably the next thing I'll wind up doing. Hood pins, because that hood's messed up anyway. Uh, side skirts and sway bar. Sway bar is done. Over here we got uh, parts to buy for the Jeep. That's crossed off, obviously. The lift, front bumper, rear bumper, steering, and tires and maybe rims. Got the brake lines already. And all kinds of stuff to buy for the Civic Condator tail lights and stuff. But yeah, we'll get back out there and do that ball joint here by tomorrow. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so uh me Dylan's out here messing with the Civic again. Uh we aren't gonna do that ball joint today. But we will do it eventually. Uh today we just bled the brakes, me and Dylan did. And we put more radiator fluid in that and it didn't leak, it cured overnight, so it seems pretty good. Uh, right now I'm going to go get a battery and pull it out the garage and we're going to take it around the block because I actually got to start driving this because the Jeep is uh, not doing too good right now. We may need a clutch, may need a transfer case, who knows. And we got a lift to put on the Jeep and whatnot. So I will drive this to work tomorrow, then I'm going to drop it off the, at the shop after work. They're going to do those back bolts for me. Uh, it should be safe to drive, so let's get it on the ground and get a battery in it. 
All right, guys, so uh, Dylan's just throwing that Blake thing on. I'm actually going to uh, leave the radiator to cap off the Civic, start it, hopefully it bleeds out some. Uh, we don't got no overheating problems or whatnot, but uh, then I'm gonna throw the tires on it and we're gonna pull it out. So let's get this batch hat out of the garage. All right, guys, so we got this uh, out of the garage, obviously, we're driving it. Uh, it does that cut up thing. Still, I thought it stopped it, but it doesn't. And uh, if you hear a rubber noise, it's my Blake shield over there. I gotta bend it away. But yeah, we'll probably start driving this. Uh, drop it off at the shop tomorrow. I wish it wasn't snowing out the wind. It'd be a lot easier to drive. Try to take off with that clutch. Alright guys, so that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, I'll probably wind up dropping it off tomorrow I get those bolts done because I'm going to have to start driving this no matter what. Uh, they'll be able to lift that and stuff. I kind of wanted to start on that today, but I don't know if this is going to be ready to drive after it gets back from the shop or not. It's out here though. Definitely need some different tires. I got those tires on the uh, cobalt I could put on it, but I uh, don't know if I'll do that. <sighs> but please like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more.